Hello guys, welcome back to our, oops, give me a minute. Welcome back to the next episode of Super Brothers Sword and Sorceries. Today we'll be continuing on of what was supposed to be, I guess, the next chapter. So yeah. Mm, same guy. So you have woken the deathless, uh, go away, deathless spectra who slumber in the darkness beneath Minigate the Yikes. Consequently, a sinister thunderstorm loom, and lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. The upshot is that you got the burned in some book known. Oh, that's a book? Oh, yeah, you can see. As the Mega Tomb. In our next session, we'll discuss its strange purpose. Purpose, eh? Research search that prologue exposes to the mythopotic. Psychonormology of well, of S S N S E P can have adversized, I mean adversized, adverse side effects. So now that you've completed the session, I have about to, uh, I house about to we talk. Wait, what? I house about we talk a little break. Okay, that, I don't know if that makes sense. I'll be right here when you're ready for session two. Well, actually, I am ready for session two. Oh, is it like a play? Haha, -ha. more like Shakespeare's. It's like two minutes just wasting of talking. We can do some good gameplay. What is happening? Oh, okay. I see it. Alright. Oh, nice little throne you got there. Uh, Alright, I'll click on you, I guess. Ding! Oh, so I guess that was a pro uh, prologue. It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin session 2 of SSE? Oh, Super Brother Sword Session EP. Yeah, I'm just going with the same blah. Oh, so where you were he so where were we? All right, now remember, you gotta burn some book known as the Mega Tomb, Tom. You woke the deathless specter, who still lurks in the darkness beneath many tall. What a creep, a miracle! It is time of hooey. A sinister, it's that sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies. The lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silence the storm will require some familiarity with sonics, cryptozoology, and miracles. 1. A sorcerer uh, touch will unseal the mega tomb or tomb, revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures or other exoteric material. Ooh, whoa. Hello. 2. Strange Sylvan Sprites. Um. Swords of sorcery, slumbers in ponds, woods, and well, and me down. Seek their small sonorous split on. Look up speaking gibberish and crap. A sorcerer, I think that's what I was supposed to say. A sorcerer who can locate, summon, uh, tame, and the cosmic geometry of the golden trigon will poses the ability to work miracles. Confused. Uh, yes, excellent. Keep calm and carry on. Bastard. <laughs> mm. Hello. To you on to our adventure. Should we see what we got? Oh, which way do we go? Oh, that looks locked, so let's go this way. Hmm. Hurry up, woman. Ah, taking so long. Ah. <clears throat> Whoa. Look, we just wasted five minutes talking to that guy. Let's go back in here. See if there's anything to do. Then we'll go back to that farmer guy, I think, with the goats and everything. Nice music. Actually, give me a minute, because I've been told that 
Oh, damn it. I'll do that in the next episode, guys. Sorry. Um, and I think my ass is numbed. I'm pretty sure you guys didn't need to know that, but okay. Um, the dark-haired girl known as Girl was feeling in the who. Ever since the storm began, the girl has been seeing the sonorous spoomies of Silva, Silva, I guess, sprites who slumber in the woods nearby. She wondered if maybe the three Sylvia sprites, Sylvia, wow, Sylvan, Sylvan sprites could help lift the storm. She actually investigated the sonorous sprum bubbling up out of the deep water pound outside the hut. The girl spoke on a sprite enemy down nearby and yet another sprite in the nest box that was home to three rain-soaked snow songbirds. The girl told the seek that sonorous sprungs of those three Sylvan sprites and send them skyward with a song of sorcery. Sorcery, I don't know. Hey you, can I talk to you? The woodsman known as the Lockfell had given up on his wood chopping due to sinister stone. Aha! Lockfell remind us of how the storm rolled in pretty much right after we retrieved the mega tomb or tom, damn it, from beneath Minigata. Was Lockfeller not so subtly suggested that Suggesting that maybe we out of, out, out of, wow, some urban street language right there, I guess. Try to do something to lift the storm. Arr. Hey, doggy. Can I talk to the dog? I can't do nothing to the dog. And for you. Inside the hell, we spied a little round something or the other above the heart. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, let's go. I guess they said there was bubbles outside the hut. Wait, this hut? Ah! Bubbles, bubbles. I guess these are the bubbles? Oh, right there, I see them. Oh, hello. It's time to learn the song of sorcery. A uh, conceptual exp expansion technique that reveals a mythical musical dim dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions. Summon the Sylvan sprite that softly slumbers in the cold water of waters of the deep water pond. Cutscene. Hmm. I hear nothing. Tap and hold. Okay, wow. Ah, I see. Oh, you dragged them, I see. That is nice. <gasps> Hello. Whoa, where you go, buddy? Whoa, it's a little smile. It's scary. He sang a song of sorcery and summoned the slumbering Sylvan Sprite from the cold waters of the deep water pond. So strange. Yes, it is. Um, well, let's talk to these guys again. The dog is barking. Nah, we'll, we'll ignore them for a while. <laughs> See the why the dog barking for. Hey, doggy, why were you barking? Hmm, all right, let's just get the... Oh, hello. Very nicely done. You've learned a song of sorcery. Now the unfarnable power of the Megatomb is yours. The Megatomb, or Tom, insta intercepts linguistic, linguistic thought transmission, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful... Errand. Thinking about something right this moment. Why not open the mega tomb and look for me and find out what's on my mind? Look for a white triangle on the top right. Tap it and then equip the mega tomb that reveal what's hidden. Mm. No. Triangle on the top right. I think it said. Yeah, oh, right here. Yes. 
well, dark moon, huh? I wait, click the Scythian. So this is the Mega Tune. It's absorbing linguistics through emissions, and I'm reading my thoughts and I'm thinking them. Hmm. As you can see, the Mega Tune gathers and collects language and thoughts transmission. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. To sing a song and tap hold. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! This is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Lockfell, he has nothing to say. Nothing. This is a little. How about you, dog? Can you talk? Nothing for the dog. Tweet this. Oh. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> um, girl. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, just nothing. Dark moon. That's about it. Yeah, let's go this way. There was a farmer, I think I saw, or was that the girl? I think that was the girl. Alright, bubbles. See if I can see any bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. Oh, right there. Yep, right there. Yeah, I had a feeling I saw bubbles. Um, yeah. Okay, cutscene. Um, things like tap and hold. Whoa. Tap. Oh, wow. Whoa, they just eat or something? I am high. <laughs> We spotted a few worth of shoes laying around me down, so they're ready. Ah. What happened if I do this? Nothing. Um, let's put the book down. See what we can find in the book. Um, nothing, I guess. Whoa. Yeah. Random. Um well there's nothing else to do here. Um I guess this is the end of the session guys. Um my name is Jordan and I is gone. Bye.